most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life how you what's up my love bugs and love muffins it's mama love and i am back with a video i just want to show y'all some things that i have done different to the place and i'm just gonna go around and show you what i did this is a male game table and all of that but these chairs y'all i had to have these two stools um i had to have that to kind of like bring this area out and then i was gonna get like the little you know placemats to you know match and you know maybe a little valance to go on top of the you know window right there i don't want to do too much in this area at all and also um this right here my uh glass tabletop is ready because this is a sofa area uh sofa not sofa table area sorry uh you can see down there the vase is supposed to sit at the top on the glass and that is the mirror right here that's gonna go on the wall just above that sofa table that's right there okay um coming back to the dining room area um i just you know place the mirror in this corner to bring out the brown in the chairs or whatever and um that's gonna be like sage colored curtains there my sister-in-law said to bring a sage out and just a little couple of uh features i added on the wall you know just mirrors always bring things out um and this big picture that i fell in love with y'all it just brought this whole room out uh the new york picture uh ikea y'all hundred bucks i got it on sale for a hundred but all together was 160 but i got it for a hundred and i just added like i said little wall decals like you know as such and then um over here and then the wall you know decal right here and then i added a little something up there you know just placing it together but this is what i did too also when i went to the furniture store i had to purchase this baby right here um my shelves these are shit this is uh like a shelves like entertainment center this is really all i wanted here you see the silver vases on each side those are gonna have a little uh you know little spruces coming up out of it you know how that little the vines or whatever they call them i forgot the little word you don't know what i'm talking about but anyway this entertainment center is special because it's got the shelves in it but also um i can turn it around and it's got two brackets to come with it and you can insert a fire unit fireplace unit so that's what i was planning on doing with that a little later on and you know i just got pictures of my hallway and you know i've already seen this already but you know um the windows right here i don't want to crowd out this room too much so I was gonna really do like a silver not you know a design type type of gray sheer because you see I got the glitter going on with the pillows and it's a little glitter inside the gray carpet and as well and with the you know vases and stuff like that and uh just getting like silver uh and glittered uh you know gold detail not details but you know things to go on your shelf to bring your shelf out and everything so i'm happy with this room uh i got a lamp coming over it's going to go over in this corner because there is a light switch right here the lights over here and it's it's going to be a lamp uh coming over the couch over you know one of those lamps that spruce out i'll put it on here at the end of this video i'll show you what lamp i ordered it's not in the store yet but when it comes, they're going to call me to come pick it up. So this is what I do with this room. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy with it, child. And I took my chairs that went over to that table and I replaced them right there. I just put my chairs here. You got two right here. And I always keep, Terrell think this is his coat rack, but it ain't. And chair right here on the end for that. And I replaced it from that table. Okay. She's standing at the bottom of the stairs with an attitude like she got license to drive. Like she's rushing me. But... You ain't got them yet, so mama making this, you know, trying to show my love book or something, so mm -hmm. I'm coming. Anyway, stay tuned for the rest of this video today because I'm just putting the vlog together. One of my love bugs gave me an idea. I'll say, mama love, just, you know, do a bunch of vlogs and put them together and, 
show us what you're doing. So y'all want to see more of me and what I'm doing. And um, so that's what we're doing today. Okay, on my way out the door. Stay tuned. Look at this day, y'all. Even though it's gray, it's a blessing to see it. Kids eat pizza. And I can't have any. Y'all gonna see where I'm gonna go next. I'm going here. Tropical Cafe Smoothie. Uh, so this is what I was talking about y'all, the healthy stuff that they got in here. And, um, see, the stuff that's on this menu up here that y'all sleeping on, y'all. I mean, not the fact that they got delicious smoothies, but the fact that they got all these different type of... This is the jerk chicken, y'all. That's what I'm getting. They said it was for a lemon. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So anyway, yeah. This is. I got a blueberry bliss smoothie, and um, and I'm gonna get a quesadilla. But I didn't know those were for limited time only. I don't know. I could eat like this all the time, but that big jerk chicken quesadilla is like only $5.99. And it's, it's filling like, you know, with like one of these. You can get these also, you know, as meal replacements, right? Because usually that's what I do. I'll ask for uh, protein to be in it, or I'll ask for uh, black seeds. Queen said she asked for a fat burner to be in it. And she said it made her full. She couldn't even finish her six inch sub she had. So I'm gonna try that too, because she said try that. Boy, this one made a little different, but there are, see the inside of it? The jerk chicken. Oh, I'm kind of skimping here. Try something more like pizza. Okay. What if I have to tell you? What if I have to tell you pull your gut up? How are you trying oh, to talk mom, about me? Mom, 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 tell mom, you pull you your gut witness. up. Every time Tina go like this, don't her stomach drop on her shirt. Don't when? her stomach drop. When? Every time she when? lift up her arms when? or something. Cause you're Right I don't have a shirt on. Period. Up, you have okay, a well, black well, t-shirt okay, on. Okay, well your belly you dropping out your hoodie. In my, you, in look your at his belly, belly dropping belly out drop his hoodie. Why is y'all going here? Look at his belly Bro, dropping you out to, his hoodie. Oh, take off this. Big gut take bucket. Take off this. Not a gut take bucket. Take this off. That's why your, take this off. Why your belly built take like this a bucket. Off. Right. Oh, Come on now. Right. Yeah. Love you, ma. You all right, David? Your fat, phony daughter. All right. And they're walking on up out. I said, would say the sunset. Okay. Walking off in the rain and with their friend. This ain't nothing new, y'all. This goes on every day. I just thought I'd give y'all something, you know, what be going on, you know. But I'm on my way to Bible study, so. They're still arguing, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Listen to this. Listen. There is a dryer. I don't know why you're using the dryer. <laughs> so they two peas in the pot. So they do all this arguing, y'all. But they won't part from each other. Her friends is his friends. His friends is her friends. And they walking and arguing. And whoever friends with them, I tip my hat to y'all. See how y'all put up with it? <laughs> Cause Tina Terrell is a handful. That's kind of tight. That's kind of tight. So it's, it's making it so hard. 
Yeah, it's, it's, he said, "Lie." Go lie. We want to make sure that that, that we have uh, things that will keep us away from the house of the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, and Jesus. We want to make sure that we don't abuse, abuse those things. Yes. Uh, it's, it, it's okay. Everything is lawful, but not expedient. You know, but we want to make sure that we're using it in the right context. Amen. Uh, so uh, uh, I was talking with them. And we were sharing things about different things and how the older things. Uh, we're we're living a new generation. <laughs> Generation that 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 that's going before us, man. They were like Bishop said. They were they were soul winners, but they they didn't they didn't leave the house of the Lord until that person was was filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about with with the evidence of speaking the tongue and just oh man, they didn't leave. They was here to eleven twelve o'clock, making sure that person crossed over, mm -hmm. making sure the oldest saints, man, they paid the way for us. But this younger generation that we live in now, oh boy, mm -hmm. oh anything that can that can uh, tickle their ear, they're gonna run into it. But we gotta make sure as, 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 as parents, as saints of God, as, as uh, 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 what do I say, seniors in the word of God, we gotta make sure that we teach them. Teach them the way, teach them the way. And when you teach them this way, saying they won't forget it. They may walk away from it, but they will not Forget the word of God. They will not forget it, man. They will not forget it. And Antoine was saying, uh, hide that word in thy heart. He was saying that. It was just he been saved. And it taught us the same thing. And to this day, we hide that word in our hearts. To this day, because of what he said. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Mm -hmm. To behold the beauty of the Lord, of the Lord and to acquire of his temple. Of his temple. The beauty of the Lord and to acquire of his temple. Saints, our desire for the Lord should be these things. Sanctified, humble, mm -hmm. constant, submissive, and fervent. Jesus. Those five things. And I just just gave you that. That's grace. Mm -hmm. If we keep those five, that's grace upon our lives. But sanctify is what I'm desiring from the Lord. And I must have these things in my spirit in order to have this desire of the Lord. Sanctify means set apart. Amen. You're set apart for the master's use. You forget about whatever your, your natural desire is. It has to do with work, family, friends, uh, 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 whatever, whatever that's, that's taking your mind off the Lord. He wants to set you apart for his use. It may be painful sometimes. You got to go through a whole lot sometimes. But yet still, he'll give you strength to go through those uh, 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 trials and tribulations. He said, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Amen. That's what he said. Being Jesus. humble. Being humble. Saints, we don't deserve what the Lord is doing for us. But yet still, he loves us so much. So for that cause, I humble myself. I don't exalt myself. I don't get pride over it. He does say, oh Lord, you better have done it. Mm. Oh man, I was waiting on you. What took you so long? I mean, mm. We get proud for when we know the Lord can do things for us. Mm. We start thinking, well, you know, I can do it myself. You take it too long, Lord. I could have been done it this way. If I was in the world, I could have been had it done. Things have, things have been done, paid. Uh, uh, uh. Oh man, I'm living the life. Temporal. But those things, thanks to the guys that are temporal. But when Lord, when the Lord does things, man, He does it. Jesus. Man, they are everlasting. Amen. You can make sure, you can make sure. You don't have to look over your head to see if it's still coming or it's still there. The Lord took care of it. Yeah. Thank you. Jesus. Permanent. Constant. Our desire for the Lord has to be constant, continually. We got desire the Lord, continually desire him. Say, we shouldn't go a day 
we should go up. What's, what's longer than a second? No, uh, a who? A, a bush. Huh? <laughs> I blame. Yeah, it's, <laughs> we should go a second, man. We, without desiring the Lord. Thank you. When we wake up in the morning, man, our 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 our, our man should be on our job. I'm not going to this job today. I'm not doing this and that, man. Our Lord, what's your desire you want me to do for you today? Amen. You. Amen. What's the one thing that I'm desiring of the Lord? And that thing when I seek after, you gotta wake up, you gotta go to sleep, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pray, you gotta eat, and you gotta be in the Lord. Hallelujah. Gotta be in the Lord. And you're not, and it says, you're not making yourself higher. Oh, I'm high mighty, man. Don't, don't bother me today. I'm, I'm, I'm fasting. You know, you gotta make sure let everybody know what's going on. Listen, <laughs> the Lord will reward you for your faith. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He'll reward you for what you are doing uh. for Him. Because you don't submissive, obedient, obedient to His word. Sometimes even our children, uh, they don't want to submit to what we're telling them. They get to an age where they say, "Well, I'm, I'm grown now. I don't matter. You know, and we're grown. Look, and look how we listen to the Lord." Amen. Peace out, Jesus' name. Be blessed, babies.